Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today we're gonna talk all about diffusing. Now, if I'm gonna keep it real, when I first used my diffuser, I didn't really like it. You know, everybody was talking about diffusing, making their hair bigger and dry faster, but every time I diffused, my hair would get so frizzy. So I was like, ain't nobody got time for this? It would take so long just to create frizz and I always liked my hair better when I just air dried. So for the longest, I may be diffused if I really, really, really needed dry hair for like some reason, but otherwise I would always air dry. It wasn't until recently, like maybe last year that I actually started using my diffuser, trying new things, cause I knew I had to be doing something wrong. Like everybody else uses diffusers, why don't I? So after doing some experimenting, I've found a solution as to why my hair was getting frizzy and what I do now to avoid any frizz. So I'm gonna share it with you, with you, with you, with you. All right, first things first, let's talk about the products that you're using. If you're like a no product, I just use water, some coconut oil, and some essential other oils in my hair, uh, it's probably not gonna work very well with you. I personally can't just use oils. I need some type of styling product that's going to hold my curls intact. Otherwise, they're too like loose and free and there's nothing gonna actually keep the hold. So adding a diffuser and just blowing air on is just gonna make it extra frizzy. So don't do that. I personally have found a lot of products that keep my hair intact. So I'm able to use my diffuser with all of them and I get great results. But if you're someone that has hair that gets pretty frizzy, pretty easily, I definitely recommend using a gel with your diffuser. Here are some gels that I recommend. I do like the Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel. I like the Girls With Curls Dippity Do Gel. I definitely love the Curl Keeper Ultimate Hold and Frizz Control Gel. And today I tried a new one, which is the Trey Lux High Definition Curl Enhancing Styling Gel. Now, I need to place one of these. Using a gel usually makes your curls very defined and leaves a little bit of a cast. I personally don't mind if my hair has a little bit of a crunch because that just lets me know that it's going to last all day and it's probably gonna get really good second day, third day, fourth, and maybe even fifth day hair because of that. Now I also have learned that by using a diffuser with some type of gel that leaves your hair a little too crunchy, it actually will break down the cast as you diffuse. So the one I tried today was a new one actually by Trey Lux, the High Definition Curl Enhancer Styling Gel. When I first put it on, my hair was super hard and I was like, mm, I don't know about this. But then once I diffused, it made everything better and now I have softer curls with a little, 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 little bit of crunch. And number two, the main thing that changed the game for me was to not diffuse right out of the shower. Now you would think that right after you get out the shower, you could just start diffusing. No, put that down. I've learned that if I diffuse right after the shower, like I shower, put in my product and then diffuse, my hair is going to get frizzy. Now I know that there are many girls that can do this. They take a shower, they put in their product, then they diffuse and their hair is perfect. Fine, that does not work for me. So if that doesn't work for you either, you might be like me where we have to wait. I usually wait two hours before I diffuse. After two hours, my hair is about 85% dry and then at that point then it is safe for me to diffuse. It really depends on your hair porosity, how well it holds the moisture, if your hair dries really fast, takes a long time. My hair takes forever to dry so it seems pretty redundant to have to air dry before you diffuse but it works. That is my little like secret technique that always gives me great results. When I use my diffuser it actually makes my curls really spring up and makes it look extra curly and it gives me the bigger volume that I need before I actually walk out the house. But the main reason that I started to diffuse was because of my bangs. Now my bangs are kind of too long, so I'm wearing them on the side, but if I would air dry with them, they would be this long. And I needed my diffuser to kind of shrink them up to normal bang size. So once I had bangs, I used my diffuser all the time and now I still do. The main part that we want to dry is going to be our roots and the roots take the longest to dry. So once kind of like your outer curls are pretty much dry, maybe a little bit damp and your roots are still pretty damp, that is when it is okay to diffuse. So play around with your hair, do different types of times, maybe wait one hour, wait two, 
30 minutes, see what really works best for your curls. But for me, unfortunately, the magic number is two hours. I still hate having to wait that long, but if I try to sneak it beforehand, it just doesn't work out. For me, diffusing too early is like touching your nail polish before it dries. You're just gonna mess it up. So your curls are trying to like figure out who they're gonna clump with, because our curls like to clump together. And then once they start to form, then we could dry them in that form position. If we do it before that, they're like, wait, we're not ready yet. We're still wet and we don't know where we're gonna go. And then they just freak out and that's how you get frizz because your curls are literally freaking out. This goes the same for using a pick. If you try to pick out your hair while your roots are actually damp or your hair is still damp, it's not gonna work out and it's going to create frizz. You cannot pick out your hair for volume until your roots are dry. So with curls in anything, patience is key. If you don't believe me, here are my curls. Do you see any frizz? I don't. And if you do, it's very little and it would have been way worse if I wouldn't have waited as long as I did to diffuse. And the third thing I want you to know about your diffuser is how to actually use it. This is the Diva dryer. It has this really cool little claw on it and it has these little holes so the air is like distributed through your curl. So the cool thing about this one, I could put it like in the middle of my hair and then all those little holes are reaching the curls individually. So it's not like a full blast of diffusing, but this one is really expensive. But don't worry if you don't have the coins for a Diva dryer, you know, wait till your birthday, Christmas, maybe someone will get you one. But you also can just get a normal diffuser on Amazon. My sister-in-law actually had an amazing diffuser by Revlon. So I will try to figure out which one it was and put that in the description box, but that was like 20 bucks. So you don't have to break the bank for a good diffuser as long as it has different types of settings on it. So when I diffuse, I like to put it on a low fan speed because I don't want to really blow my hair away because that can create more frizz if there's too much movement. And then I also use the medium heat. If you could use the cool setting, even better, that way you're not adding any type of heat. But I personally like to use the medium one because my hair just takes so long to dry. So since I usually wait two hours for my hair to actually dry before I diffuse, my diffusing only takes about five minutes. I probably diffuse maybe 15 minutes at the most if my hair is still really wet for some reason, maybe like it's cold outside or they're just not drying. Most girls diffuse for like 30 minutes. And I always diffuse with my hair upside down to create more volume. So I just can't be upside down for like 30 minutes. And sometimes people ask me, can you get heat damage from your diffuser? I mean, technically you're blowing a little bit of heat, but you're not using it to straighten your hair. It actually makes my hair even curlier when I do diffuse, and I'm only doing it for five minutes. So if you can wait for your hair to air dry, that means you're putting less heat even on your hair. So my little five minutes a day has not damaged my hair at all. So these are all of my tips, tricks, and techniques for diffusing. If you guys try this, please leave me a comment. Let me know how it worked for you. And if you have your own diffusing tips, go ahead, leave me a comment so we all could help each other out. And make sure to follow me on all social media at Ms. Bianca Renee on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat so you could see me do my hair on my everyday life and I'll give you little tips before the videos even come out. I also post new videos every week. I do foundation reviews on Friday, like the one that I'm wearing now. This is my foundation Friday that I just posted on Friday. And I also have curly hair product reviews, tutorials, and other fun stuff on Sunday. So I hope to see you all next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Happy diffusing.